G'day all, this is a, a demo of an Arduino hooked up to a Chinese diesel heater. On this screen here I've got the left hand side is messages I'm sending from the Arduino to the heater. The right hand side is the response packets coming back from the heater. Follow the USB cable up. Here's my Arduino do with a couple of transistors to mimic the usual serial data interface onto the blue wire. You see the blue wire and black wire, which is the ground heading up into the plug, like so. Just tapped into there, and as you can see, that's actually chatting away quite happily in the heater. There's no action at the moment, it's all turned off. I can actually generate an E07 fault by deliberately corrupting a CRC that's being sent. I can do that by typing C on the keyboard of the laptop. The note for very last byte now is a value of zero, which is a corrupted CRC. The heater unit's no longer happy, it's not responding with anything. And down in the heater, we're getting an E07 code. I can revert that back to normal by typing Z on the keypad. And there we go, the heater's now happy and chatting again. Because the uh, last byte is no longer zero. It's now the correct value that it should be for correct CRC. And in the heater you can see that LED's no longer flashing. Now I can demonstrate turning on the heater. I hit the plus key. And that will... Over here we'll watch... I won't show the keyboard, but... If we watch that first byte, focus, you silly thing. That third byte is the command value. So you just need to send the value A0 momentarily for one cycle. And that's enough to turn the heater on. There's a click of a relay. Oop, the fan's caught up on something. There we go. The O2, O1 in the third and fourth bytes over here show the heater is actually up and running. And we can see down in the heater the light is lit. And you may be able to hear the fan running. The, it's a bit dark in there to see if the fan's actually turning over. But trust me, it is. Now if we hit the minus key, that'll send a key value of 5 as a command. There it is. And over here you see that third byte is now 7 to indicate it's shutting down. So, there you go. That's the whole scheme of it in my Joco Expander. Controlling that evil heater down there. Hopefully one day a Bluetooth interface so I can run it off my phone and be able to tune up things a lot better than this LCD is. It's a bit of a bit of a mongrel thing to operate with.